Hey everyone, it's Cupcake. Welcome to another episode of DIY Geeky Goodies where I make all things geeky and creative and show you how to do them. So, I know Christmas is over, but I've been getting a ton of requests to make a Minecraft diamond boot stocking. So I decided, you know what? I love Christmas. I'm just gonna go ahead and make one even though it's over. So, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need some type of light blue fabric. I found mine with glitter. Also, get a thread that matches your fabric. I found this really pretty black trim that I'm going to use on the edge of the boot. I also found this blue trim that I thought matched the color perfectly. I'm going to use this as the lighter reflection of the boot. You're going to need a template for your stocking. I just went online, found a picture of a Minecraft boot, and printed it using two pieces of paper and taping them together. Fold your fabric so that when you cut out the pattern you will have two. I pinned down the pattern on the fabric to make it easier to cut out. When you cut out your pattern, make sure to leave a quarter of an inch on each edge. This is because when you sew the boot together, it will shrink in size. After you're done cutting, you can remove your pins and choose the side that you're going to decorate. With the right side up, I begin adding my decorations to my boot. I'm starting with the black trim. Again, don't sew it to the edge. Leave a quarter of an inch of slack. When you reach a corner and need to turn your fabric, leave the needle inside of the fabric, pick up the foot, and simply turn your fabric. Remove your pins, place the foot back down, and begin sewing again. This should be done for all corners. Now that you have the black trim attached, I'm now going to move to the blue trim. Grab your pattern and measure how much trim you need for the lighter portion of the boot. Cut it and sew it onto the front of your boot. Measure all other light portions of the boot and sew them on. I'm doing this just to give it another dimension of sparkle. I also decided to add another line of black trim to make it thicker. This is what it looks like so far. Once you're satisfied with the decorations of your boot, Grab your other piece of fabric and place it face down so both decorated sides should be facing each other. Match up the edges and corners, pin them together and begin to sew. Leave an opening on the top of the boot. I'm sewing right on the foot of the sewing machine. This is why we left a quarter of an inch in the cutting process. Again, when you come to a corner, leave the needle inside the fabric, lift up the foot and turn. Place the foot back down and begin sewing. Now that you're done sewing and you've left the hole in the top of the boot, turn it inside out. You should have some extra fabric on the top, so just fold it in and sew it down. Make sure not to sew the hole shut. For the last and final touch, grab some black trim, fold it in half, and sew it to the back of the boot. Once you're done with that, you now have your very own diamond boot stocking. I am super happy with the outcome of this. I would recommend though to make this hole a little bit bigger because this is for like a little baby hand. My hand can't really fit in here. But you can pour stuff out. But thank you guys so much for requesting me to do this. I had a lot of fun doing this and I am super happy to add this to my collection of DIYs. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions for next week's episode, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get to it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am Cupquick and I'll see you all later. Bye!